Okay, so we're on workbook page 358, the guided practice. Number one, what is the opposite of zero? Since zero is not positive or negative, the opposite of zero is just itself, which is zero. Number two, what is the opposite of the opposite of six? So the opposite of six would be negative six. And then the opposite of negative six would be positive six. So that's the opposite of the opposite. So the opposite of the opposite is technically just itself. So the opposite of the opposite is six. Number three, evaluate each expression. So remember the lines represent absolute value, which is what's a number's distance from zero on a number line. So negative five is five units away from zero on a number line. Number four, absolute value of 20 minus absolute value of negative three. 20 is 20 units away from zero minus negative three is three units away from zero. So this equals 20 minus three is 17. Number five, absolute value of negative 16, which is positive 16 plus absolute value of negative 12 is positive 12 because negative 16 is 16 units from zero, negative 12 is 12 units from zero. So when you add this, you get 28. Number six, a game show contestant lost 15 points. He answered another question incorrectly and lost another 15 points. How many total points has he lost? So he lost 15, that would be represented as negative 15. He lost another 15, so that's another negative 15. Total points has he lost, that means we wanna use addition and absolute value to find how many points has he lost in total. So 15 points lost plus another 15 points lost equals 30 points lost in total.